All right, Top Billing. We're having a lot of fun with these camp reps, dissecting those, having a reaction to those. We saw with the Jamar Chase versus Derek Stingley reps. I mean, if you think about it, it's probably the best one-on-one matchup you can get in practice in all of college football. Uh, If you think about it, it, having the accolades that both of those guys have and the type of work and the type of athletes they are, um, it's really hard to say that anybody else can get better work. But my man Timothy remarked, man, this is like the LSU version of Michael Thomas versus Marshawn Lattimore, and both of them made it to the league together. And it's got me thinking, like, man, is that the number one matchup you can get in all his college football when you think about the accolades of both? Of course, Michael Thomas is perhaps the best receiver in all of football. We see here in a 2020 camp rap going against J- Janoris Jenkins here. You see the chicken fighting stage. Look at the ability to separate and transition right there. Simple head nod and he's gone. Multi-time All-Pro, uh, Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, generally regarded as one of the best in the game versus a former defensive rookie of the year, two-time pro bowler, Marshawn Lattimore. Does anybody have a wide receiver cornerback combination like that on their team with those type of accolades? I'm not sure, but these guys giving each other some real good work. So let's go ahead and give into it. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Top billing. All right, y'all, let's start right here. Now, before we start, I had to point this out. You've heard me say it on the channel 50 million times. Marshawn Lattimore is my favorite corner in all of football. Absolutely love his skill set. His makeup is moxie. Um, his his measurables as far as his height, weight, speed, he's got it all, man. And Michael Thomas, to me, uh, I've said it, arguably the best in all of football. Both these guys are hated on a lot, though. That shit is crazy to me. I don't know why both of these guys are hated on like that. But um, they're both at the top of their game, in my opinion. Um, Marshawn Lattimore is my favorite. I'm not saying that he's the best. So don't come saying that I said Marshawn Lattimore is the best. He's one of the best. He's definitely up there on any given year. He could put it all together. But check this out. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Look at his base width here. Look at the base width. Strong through the core. He's ready for war. All right. Really? You know what I'm saying? Both the hands there, ready, not presenting them right now. You want to shock. If you're going to hit, you want to give them something to think about. Not You don't want to just right away have your hands up right there. You want to give them something to really think about. But um, if you see here, look at this. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> what was that? What, what was that? That was that was a damn prison rep. All kinds of... <laughs> Come on, man. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get some real some real insider here, man. You guys keep giving me these funny reps. Now check one more time. Look at this. This is just straight fighting. That's that Ohio State prison. Then Mike takes a swipe at him, tries to hit him in his back. It's just looking just like prison, right? Right up in the yard or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? That commissary. <laughs> commissary. Right? But check this out. Friction on friction. He doesn't give him a free release, right? He gets into him. Now they're just battling for position. Right within that war zone period there. Now, when you do this, you overcommit to physicality if you're Marshawn Lattimore. Are you stronger than a Michael Thomas? He outweighs you by at least 20 pounds, uh, a few inches of height on you as well. You're probably not going to win that scenario, although Marshawn Lattimore is hella strong. We saw what he did to um, Julio Jones in one of my other contents there. But check this out. On the transition right here, boom. Marshawn Lattimore reaching for his chocolate bar. Don't be reaching for another man's chocolate bar up in prison. Look at that. Tried to reach for his chocolate bar. He's already a little concussed from the war zone there. Then look. Bye. What's this? Why are you trying to knock that man out? Boom. Slapped him on his back. So if he was already sleep going down, the slap to his back woke his ass up. Now he's ready. You can tell right there. Now he's just like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Back to the cherries, lemons, and bananas on this one too. Look, Marshawn doesn't know where he's at. Now he woke back up. He's like, oh, shit, I'm in the middle of a rep. And then he has to try to reposition, so they restart right there. That's a, that's a bad rep. That's a bad rep. That was just uh, that's a lot of time to be wasted right there. There's nobody has that much time in the pocket. Look at this for all this to go down. Get a man that can slap, then reset and go back to the ball. I don't even know what route that was. Was it a curl route? But that's some just good physicality right there. Two guys know each other. They were teammates in college, teammates in the NFL. Now they're teammates in prison. It seems right. Prison bunkies. But boom. Michael Thomas clearly won that rep because it was just a rep of physicality. Went back to the ball. He's just a tough guard, man. Oh, boy. All right, y'all. Round two. 
We'll go ahead and run this. Oh, ooh. Man, on those transitions, man, I don't somebody people were up in here talking about Michael Thomas is not that good of a route runner and shit like that. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. You got to be serious. These dudes always be doing that shit from the comfort of their own couch. Look at this. Uh, look at the inside approach for an outbreaking route. Really sells that. We'll go back to the beginning of it, though. Right. See it from both aspects here. But look at that. Not a free release, of course, right? They just like the battle off off the line of scrimmage. They probably gone against each other fifty million times. But what I tell you, you cannot stay with somebody and try to reach with both hands. One hand out there, baby. You're gonna have a longer arm when you're reaching with one 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 arm to be able to reach out and touch somebody anyway. So trying to run with two hands is not gonna do that. But he quickly backs off that, but does not able is not is unable to decrease the space in this particular situation right here. Luckily. For him, Mike Thomas really sells this inside approach or unlucky. He was unlucky on this one, right? Because he really bit off of it, right? Looks like it could have been a, a post or something like that. And then, boom, sticks that foot in the ground. Marshawn Lattimore, zoom, kept running. Kept running. But, look, he's able to transition a little bit. But he wasn't going to get this if it were towards the sideline. I want to say that this was going to be an out route. But for some odd reason, Mike Thomas turns around and he stops. I'm not sure if he just saw the pass when he was coming on. But it was... Yeah, it was just over. It was over his head there. But if this were a better pass right here, Marshawn Lattimore is beat again. Oh, yes. Good work, though, man. Getting good work. All right. So on this one, it's already in progress here. And it looks like it's another bad throw, but perhaps it's not a bad throw. It's just that Marshawn Lattimore left the quarterback no place to throw the ball. But we can run it here. I of reaching from Marshawn Lattimore, but look how he transitions. Good Lord. A lot of reaching, but you can tell if he wasn't doing all that reaching and he just trusted his feet. Remember, I tell you all the time, kids, playing cornerback is with your feet. It's not with your arms. Like You can put your arms down and transition with your feet like a ballerina or something like that, right, and still stay with somebody. You need your hands when it's the moment of truth scenario and it's time to break up a pass there. But you see right there? Really fixated on the torso here. But look at him, all this reaching and stuff. Just a, a kind of afraid of the transition. No need to do all that. That's going to be a penalty. They're going to call that a penalty. We know they are. But look, once again, on the transition, like he might have been ready for it on this one because he whips the head around as well. Pause. And he's right there. He, he's right there. So people always think that every single throw that somebody is going to throw is going to be perfect. That's not the case. If you play football, a lot of the throws, that even with the great quarterbacks, are not going to be completely un, on the money. However, a lot of cornerbacks just aren't in the right place to take advantage of that. So, But they whipped it around right here, and I'm not sure where this is supposed to go. Maybe it was supposed to be a corner route. Yeah, it looks like that was going to be a corner route, if I'm looking at it right here. Maybe sell it towards the pylon. But if you see there, Thomas kind of rounded this off and kind of flattened it. Instead of drifting up field, and no bueno there. So, I'm going to get that one to Marshawn Lattimore. He was right on that ass. Pause. All right, y'all. Last one right here, and it's everyone's favorite route, right? People talk about Michael Thomas running slants. Check this out. Uh, no, sir. And people act like you can defend a slant pass. Like, come on, fam. Like, and the funny thing about this is they'll talk about Michael Thomas and talk shit about him and say that all he does is run slants. Well, if you know that somebody's going to do something most of the time, shouldn't you be able to stop it? And maybe it's not that easy. You know why? Because he doesn't just run slants. So you have to play him for every route there is you know, or you're going to get your ass beat. But check this out right here. Hell of a hip flip standing there. Boom. Get him with the outside arm. Look at that. From the from the. Onset of this, he was on it. Look at that. Working in this pedal. Turns, transitions, right? He misses this right here, but you can tell what he wanted to do. What I always tell you, if you're going to transition right, the guy taking an outside approach, you're going to transition, you're going to hit that left hand to the right shoulder pad just to get yourself in position. And that's exactly what he does here. Doing that right there allows him to turn his hip. Now he's in his hip pocket. And what do we say? Hashtag dick the hips. Now look. Thomas has to try to get back inside of this. It's a lot. It's going to be a lot of traffic there because he's he's right there. Now look, he's able to turn, stick his foot in the ground, flip his hips again in this direction here. 
stay right up in his hip pocket again. Now look, now he can go through with the outside arm and break that up. Outside arm and break that up. Don't have to do the inside arm. Then you end up really taking a risk. But the outside arm is going to be a longer arm first and foremost because of the surface area. Breaks that up. Hell of a hell of a rep there. He knew it too. He got up shaking his head and shit. Look at that. I'm like, nah, buddy. That's some exciting shit, man. When you in practice and you're doing those run on ones and that shit happens right there. One on ones was crazy shit back in practice back in the day, bro. I'm telling you. But this is a hell of a rep right here. Even really by both guys. Even for him to get back on the inside. Oh, man, I love it. I absolutely love it. So, all right, so there you go. Tell me, is there a better tandem or a better pair that you can have a one-on-one with throughout the NFL, right? If if we said in the LSU was the was the best corner with the best receiver, it may be debatable. It depends on who you ask or whatever like that. Is this the best receiver with the best cornerback you know what i'm saying from how you would rank them right maybe marshawn Lattimore is not number one maybe michael thomas is not number one but they're close enough in their rankings and cornerbacks that that's the highest pairing that you can get so let me know some other ones out there and hopefully we can come across some more as well all right that being said as always man thank you guys another reaction video here uh hopefully you guys learned some stuff from this um of course watching the best this is what i love man if you want to learn something you want to learn it from these guys in the nfl kids all right but it's your boy murph the underground king make sure you like make sure you comment make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend and of course i am out peace